Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to create some curious creature crossbreeds. And this time we are celebrating the Year of the Tiger with the arrival of the new Lunar New Year. Bringing in a new year of animals, which you know I've always been very fond of ever since I was little. I've always thought that the Lunar New Year just was so much more fun because every year is a different experience of the year, especially because every year is correlated with a different animal and a different element. This year it is the year of the water tiger, which means that all of you tigers are going to be turning 12, 24, 36, and so on, which I think is kind of fun. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and explore that fun of the Lunar New Year with science by mixing together some tiger genes with some of the other animals that we have here in the laboratory. So my friends, I do do hope you are ready to go ahead and put on your lab coats, slap on those safety goggles, carefully mind you, they are safety goggles, and break out that notepad so that we can come up with all sorts of cool tiger crossbreeds. I kind of want to set a challenge for myself to get like a certain number of tiger crossbreeds this year. I'm not sure how many, I'm kind of thinking like maybe 12 at least maybe 12 to 24 so we can say we had one tiger crossbreed for like the every month of the year mind you it's you know already well no no it's the beginning of february the lunar new year so that would be kind of cool if we could like get at least one tiger crossbreed every month of the year and maybe even two tiger crossbreeds every month of the year and who knows maybe to celebrate getting that done we will even have some of our crossbreeds appear in a crossover with our zoo craft series and all of the interesting science experiments we get up to over there. All right, now I'm really excited about all of that. And all of that to say, today we are working with Rosemary, a beautiful Bengal tiger who has appeared here in our laboratory lab as we prepare ourselves for sending her onwards to all of our planet zoo adventures, since this is a giant crossover hub, after all, one of my favorite things to do. And uh, we're also working with little Burly, named after Kimberly. But this one's a little boy, so this is Kim, or this is Burly. Well, I guess we can name him Kim. Kim's also a boy name. This is going to be Kim, the Arctic Fox. And Kim is actually left over from our amazing adventures in Never Alone. I am so proud that we actually finished that entire story. It was really beautiful. I'm so excited to hear that there's rumors of Never Alone 2 possibly coming out in the future. And we are going to be working with Kim, the Arctic Fox, to combine their genes to celebrate the beginning of winter slipping away. I should probably say the end of winter slipping away. That actually makes a lot more sense. <laughs> But we're going to be celebrating winter slipping away and the arrival of the year of the tiger as I stare eagerly over the horizon to spring starting to arrive this year with mixing tiger and fox genes. So, all right, friends, I hope you're ready to start putting in all of these genes into petri dishes with me. I am hoping for a tiger fox. That's kind of what I want this time. Small fox, but with tiger stripes. Just like last time, I wanted small fox with Dalmatian stripes. We've done a lot of fox mixes, so I think this is a great way to kind of like hand the baton off from the tigers to the foxes and see what these genes will surprise us with. All right, so is everyone ready? Everyone ready? Good, good. Petri dishes at the ready. Names put down. Oh! Tiger crossbreeds are going to be so fun. Names put down into the comment section, of course. As always, if you guys want to end up becoming one of these absolutely precious little crossbreeds, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and leave some suggestions of mixes would be amazing. Oh, this one's a little skinny baby. Hello to Ansel. So welcome to little Ansel. And Ansel, I love the idea of a pit bull in a tiger mix because I think that would turn out really hilarious. And you are a sleuth who is smart and vocal. So you're a very curious little crossbreed. So would this be like a tox, a tiger fox? I kind of like that. You're, the, you're a little tox. So Ansel, you wait over here. We're gonna go ahead and pluck another little bit of the DNA from the rosemary. Let me see, let me pull up the next name so that we're ready to go. And this is going to be, oh, look at you. 
this is gonna be Dorothy. Dorothy, I'm so glad you're enjoying our laboratory adventures together. I do hope that you are having a wonderful day. And Dorothy, you're also gonna be vocal. So apparently we have like a lot of very vocal toxes. And that makes some sense because I was just working with the Arctic foxes in our planet zoo adventures and boy do they yammer and talk. Holy cow, do you guys live anywhere with a lot of foxes? Because oh my goodness, the foxes in our planet zoo adventures just chatter all of the time and it makes me wonder if they do that in real life too. So do let me know. We have some foxes where we live in North Carolina, but they are not very vocal. Little urban foxes who slink about the street. Oh, look at those eyes. And occasionally eat out of your bentons. All right, Rosemary, Kim, oh, oh, I think this is going to be like a polar bear. <laughs> All right, we actually ended up with the Arctic Fox's coloration. A moment of sheer surprise on my end because I completely forgot that like the Arctic Fox's colors were a possibility. But this is actually going to be, let me see, let's go with Storm Cloud, a name from Magic Annie. There we are. And a griffin and an Australian shepherd. Okay, that actually sounds like a really cool mix. So I'm gonna put that down. Thank you. Griffin and an Aussie. There we are. I have literally a piece of paper I write all these down on. It's several pages long now because you guys have had so many amazing suggestions. All right, so Stormcloud is going to be jumpy, smart, and stubborn. So we actually have a lot of very intelligent toxes. Possibly we could unleash cause a lot of trouble for the sake of science, but we'll worry about that later Meanwhile the next little bit. Oh <laughs> This is gonna be awesome after awesome wolf. Oh I um Once again completely forgot that the other fox DNA is lurking in there for colorations So awesome you're going to also be a smart hunter who is hairy and i have to say i have to say i'd be a little concerned to see how this would turn out and awesome you suggest doing a tiger and a wolf i think we may have done that mix before but maybe not which would be quite surprising since those are two of our extremely popular crossbreed animals um and i will definitely add it to the list wow hello you adorable little you all right Okay, for some reason, I guess I just thought Rosemary's stripe dominant gene. That is definitely not the case. I take it back. Let's get ready to go ahead and see what we get if we mix. Okay, now this is going to be Susanna. Whoops, not Susanna. Oh my gosh, that's kind of a really hilariously cute name though. So Susanna, you can't give milk, so we're gonna re-roll. However, you can be a hairy, very friendly, and very stubborn little tox. And Susanna, you suggest crossbreeding a Chihuahua and a Great Dane. I think for sure we have done that, but I will always be willing to mix that. <gasps> Chihuahua tigers, you guys. What would you think, a little, a, a little cheeker? With me, maybe? What do you call a Chihuahua tiger? Oh my gosh. Let's see. A, a Tiwa? Tiwa is a lot cuter. Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're going to have to try that out again. I, You know what? Doing a few of the mixes again is no problem because you have no idea how it's going to turn out so different from time to time. So it's always just fascinating to see. And let's pull up the very last of our little crossbreeds who are going to be joining the family tree this time. And we are going to have, dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at you. This is going to be a moose after Annie loves moose. Now, I have to admit, I have seen over the years, literally hundreds of people, if not thousands, have usernames that have a wolf, horse, uh, let's say cat, especially warrior cats, uh, and lately a lot of dragons from um, Wings of Fire in their usernames. But I don't know if I've ever seen someone else who just straight up is like, I love moose. It makes me think I should change my username to like, I love giraffes. That would be, that would be something that I would do. Absolutely. All right. You cannot produce wool, moose. Still can't produce wool. <laughs> Still, okay, can't produce milk either, but you can be a jumpy, vocal, active little one. And Addy Loves Moose, you suggest a moose and a wolf. I know for certain we have done a moose and a moose the sled dog, 
But I take it back on thinking we've done a moose and wolf. I don't think we have. So excellent suggestion. You also look like the most tiger of all the tigers. However, maybe you will grow up small. So all right, guys, here we go with Rosemary getting ready to relax over in our Planet Zoo series and with little Kim being ready to set free into our Never Alone series. Let's go ahead and see what their curious crossbreeds would indeed create. Ansel, you're up first. All right. Small and yet not what I wanted. So close and yet so far. <laughs> okay, Ansel. Ansel, you are amazing. Let no one tell you any different. But somehow, we didn't lose any of the tiger's muscles. We just packed all of that tiger's strength into a teeny tiny body. That's hilarious. It is like you took all of, all of the muscles, didn't lose any of them. You just like shrunk them down into an itty tiny little living space. So yeah. Yeah, this is actually amazing. I take it back when I said not quite what I wanted, Ansel. You are everything I could have never dreamed of. And I adore you. All right. Mission's over. We can all go home, friends. Let's go away. You know, it, it, show's over. We're ready. <laughs> We've gotten an amazing mix. <laughs> However, we will finish growing everybody else up. Dorothy, you're up next. <laughs> Dorothy, you are indeed a huge tiger with a tiny tail. So not a lot carried over from the fox parentage there. However, I think you'll fit in wonderfully to our Planet Zoo adventures. Then we have little Stormcloud. Who is not so little? Who is not so little at all? And who actually takes on many of the characteristics of a freaking polar bear. So there you are, Stormcloud. You are amazing. I think you will do perfectly fine in the very cold tundras. No problem there. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, you're living up to that name. I just never have anything else to, to say about how glorious these gigantic headed floofs are when we do manage to get them in our laboratory. There's something so satisfying about looking at all of the random genes that could come together and just sitting there and nodding with delight and pleasure. Yes, yes, this is indeed what we wanted. Gigantic floofy dog dog. Yes, I love it. All right, you're wonderful, awesome. Susanna, are you gonna be a big or small? <laughs> Susanna is going to be a very small and a very muscular looking fox, tox, and uh, I, I like it. Susanna, you're definitely taking a ton after Kim. And then finally, we have the question of moose. Will, be, will moose be supersized or will moose be a small tiger fox? Kind of like what I was going for for Ansel. Ah, okay. Moose is indeed gigantic and huge. And just for funsies, we will go ahead and we will we will see if we did give Moose some Moose genetics. Okay, that actually looks really epic. We need to start adding in some more Moose. Maybe we'll do Moose and Tigers next time. Like, why not? We're going to try to do at least 12 Tiger mixes this year. That sounds fantastic. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Ah, oh, it is always so much fun to dive into the randomness of our random Pets Laboratory Challenge. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.